I'm in Surrey. Made it. Made it. This is how chocolate would look. Oh no, oh, we have no. to eat chocolate again. <laughs> I woke up yesterday morning not expecting to be here actually. <laughs> I called him like, hey, do you want to come to Zurich? <laughs> we just I'm, booked like yeah. an hour after she called us and I'm, I'm And he's here. And now we're going to the Lynn factory. Tell them the story about this. So room. I've never been to the Zurich airport before. Apparently there's a road for like buses and common taxi and then above it there's a road for like Ubers and stuff. And I was at the lower place and then I ordered an Uber and I'm like, where are you bro? And he's like, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> I'm running around trying to find him. I never find him. He says, you're great bro. And then cancels on me. And, and then Linda ordered an Uber and it's the stinking guy that canceled It's the same guy and we're in two different areas so I'm very confused. Like, we're like 20 happened. minutes away from the airport. He's right here actually. That's him. That's him. Let's go. Hi. Welcome. Jessica. Yes. Hi. You make YouTube videos. Me? Yeah. 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 You're a YouTuber. Yeah. Hello, hello. <laughs> the house. Everyone speaks. I don't know. We made it. Nick needs to be inside because he's well, late. We got these tickets by luck. It smells like chocolate. Oh, there's the chocolate fountain. No way. <laughs> I think your hair is like flying. Yeah, because... Like, <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> hey, Nick, you need to get in. We can look at that after. We're gonna so do nice. tours at different times. Yeah, our tours are literally at different times. I didn't think that we'd make it to the Lint Factory because everything was full, but then I was like refreshing, refreshing the page and we got tickets, but at different times. I guess. This is so cool. This is pretty... Cool. So we both got in. Whee! We got to do the tour together. If you point this, but does it say it? Yeah. Oh, is it in your ear? Yeah. You will meet some of our cocoa farmers. Oh, that's so cool. So these are the cocoa trees. Is it real? No. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was real. The cocoa tree grows in the shade of large plants. That is plants, chocolate. That, those plants are chocolate. The thing just said in my ear that it needs like warm, humid, so and tropical. very rainy temperature. Tropical around the equator. Guys, we made it at the same time. I was like, I have my ticket at 4.30 and I thought that we would have to go and come back. But now we're doing it together and I'm so happy. Now we're learning about the cocoa tree. Nick's listening to the whole thing. So there's this tree. I didn't know that. What? <laughs> like you can't grow cocoa by itself. It needs other trees to cover. Yeah, to that's like... literally, I just read that. Those are the bugs responsible for pollination of the cocoa plant. It's not done by bees, it's done by these things. Those do the pollination. This is what cocoa looks like. This is how you do it. You get this remote. And listen. We're in the next room. It's like a projection. It's like a whole history lesson. How did Switzerland become the home of chocolate? Let's see. There's even sound effects. This is how chocolate would look when it was packaged before. Oh, this is a mold. So now we finished the past and we're moving on to the present. You can see all the molds. This is Nestle in Switzerland. You can see how the packaging changes and then how the molds and like Look at it now. You see what I mean? Nick, do you find this interesting? I'm an engineer. I like processes. It's been an Literally hour. Been we're an just hour. like with this in our ear and you have to like scan it. They like, definitely listen. embellished a bit the story of Lint to make it more interesting. But honestly, it is like pretty that. interesting how it moved around, how the status of chocolate. Like, and, and if you were like what your status was, you drink coffee in the morning, yeah. it was for men and then it became industrial. Yeah. And, like it's just very interesting. I mean, I yes. probably kind of went back and forth with the story because I would scan the wrong one. Listen yes, and then we definitely so didn't go. I didn't go in order. But we, we listened to all of them. What was most interesting to me is how many random chances it took for like, like milk yeah. chocolate. Because you had Nestle's condensed milk, and then he was randomly friends with a dude that had a chocolate factory, and he's like, "Hey, can I try your condensed milk in my chocolate?" For everything to happen, it's just a lot of luck, but like also a lot of like process. random, like, random chance, but also like trying. <laughs> yeah. Interesting how all of this happened and how it came to be and how we're like now in the factory like this is where the headquarters is. Now we get to try chocolate. Yeah, we get to eat. Yeah, like you can see everything then you grab here 
a spoon and you try the chocolate. My favorite part. Now I know so much about chocolate. To me, I see this as like material science. Like, I look at it more like, I don't know, manufacturing. I mean, I think this is interesting to you because yes, of your major. It is. They also mentioned that it's kept at a regulated temperature. It's a lot of info, a lot of info, but very, very interesting. I love chocolate. He loves engineering. It's white chocolate, milk chocolate in the middle, and then dark chocolate. The amount of sugar, milk powder, cocoa butter. And then here, we get to try. Got my chocolate. I have some as well. Oh, you already tried it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good. Really good. That was dark chocolate? Yeah. It's a mild mm -hmm. dark chocolate. Very so good. Let's try the milk chocolate one. You get a new spoon. Yeah. This is milk chocolate. Oh, look at the color on that one. Mm. You like it? That one is really good. It's mm. really good. So good. This tastes like caramel, no? Kind of, yeah. White chocolate. Mm. That is. Some good white chocolate. It would even be my favorite. Actually. Really? Maybe. I like the dark chocolate and the white chocolate the most. This is the funniest thing ever. I was like, Nick, we might have to redo this for my vlog on TikTok. Oh, I He's said like, the natural response, which is, oh no, oh, we have no. to eat chocolate again. Oh, no. This is how they like make the heat and cool the chocolate, make the shape, and how they add the things on it, like the almonds. This side is chocolate bar. See, this is the chocolate bar. Let's try it. We got a bar. Dark chocolate? Dark chocolate for sure. Does it have like citrus? Is that meat? <laughs> it's like no, none for you. Fine, I'll take them here. Okay, wait, let's try this one again. Oh, it gave me one. Oh, gave me one. Okay. Give me like half. We're gonna take pictures in these giant lint balls. And then you can take pictures on a green screen. Okay, we're gonna take a picture. You want together or do you want alone? Together. That's great. I That's mean, it's, it works. It works. You get to take one of each. And I took two. Took two. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. Wow. Wow. And it goes down. Oh, oh, oh. Let me zoom in. Where is it? Oh. He opens it up to get a chocolate. Let's go. Bye, chocolate yeah. factory. And then it was done. Look inside my bag. It's all chocolate. I was just taking some pictures next to this house because it's so pretty. But it got so hot. Took off my jacket. That is a very nice looking house. It's a house. very nice house. Like a little co cottage. A little cottage. We're going to find the train now. We're going to head back to the city. We are like 20 minutes. Out. But today's a Sunday, so a lot of things are gonna be closed, which kind of is annoying. We'll see, we're just gonna walk around, show Nick around the city. It's weird how it feels like a beach city, even though like it's a lake. Like I never feel lost because I just find the lake. I like how on Google Maps the, the, the lake just looks funny. It just looks like a pen. The lake on the map, you're like, oh, it's gonna be so hard to cross, and then it's like no, it's not that big. It's not that hard. Nick, we didn't even explain to them what, what, like, what's going on. Like, why are you here? Linda was just like, hey, you want to go to Switzerland? Yeah, I was. I, and I was like, what? Uh, I just woke up. She called, like, I just woke up when she said it. Rich was going to go, but if Rich went, he would travel to Switzerland, get back to the UK, stay for like one day, and then travel to London. Yeah, it was kind of hectic for him. So he did not want to do that. So he's like, Nick, please go. I get to the airport, and they're like, you don't have a seat. I'm like, what? They're like, we overbooked the plane. Yeah, like, But then they ended up giving me a seat. That's the story of how Nick oh. ended up in Switzerland. There's also the fact that, like, I kind of wanted to come to Switzerland. Yeah, it was a good thing because I was here and I extended for the weekend. Yeah. I was supposed to leave back I've to Dubai on Friday. I've always wanted to come to Switzerland because, like, it's such a like famously nice place. I'm like, like what, what if I want to work here in the future? Wait, I think we're going yeah. the wrong way. Jack 
tickets and now it's like hot. Everyone is so friendly and nice and helpful. Like we were, we didn't know which ticket to get. Someone was really nice and helped us. I wanted to change, so we went and he showered. So now we're going back down. It's literally like very fast. I was just sitting on my phone posting stories. Now I'm hungry, so I want to go eat something. So let's but we're see. in Switzerland, not Hungary. Okay. Let's go. So we left the yeah. train station. We just walked through the shopping city. Yeah. And that's Sunday. Everything showed closed. me around. Linda showed me around. She showed me a few things. I changed. I took he a did. shower. I, you know. Because the hotel's really close. So he was like, yeah. I'm just going to go up. So we took like a half an hour break. We're yeah. back on a roll. Going to get lunch. And I'm wearing glasses now. Oh, yeah. I'm a glasses wearing... boy now. A very recent thing for me. So I'm not very used to these being on my face. Going to Yoji's so you can just pick from these. This is what I would get, Nick. I kind of should probably switch it up. I don't know if I get this. Look what I got. Nick, show them what you got. The exact same thing. We got two poke bowls. I was here yesterday as well. I really liked it, so I'm like, we'll go again for. Oh, this is the sauce. Got, we got tuna one. Some wasabi. Oh. Did I get it on? You got it on my jeans. This is soy. Sauce. That's it for me yeah, as well. That's it for me. Oh, this is really good. You like it? Yeah. The weather's good now. How could we forget? Extra I love ginger, ginger too. I used to hate it. No, as a kid. now I need a chopstick, man. I used to hate ginger as a kid, but that's when I had like baby taste buds. Okay, I'm gonna eat. Don't ask how, but the other day I ended up dancing here. I didn't know anyone. I was just like watching, and then someone's like, no, come dance. I'm like, me? No, I, I can't dance. You know, I was just like, for the plot. But I'm gonna insert a clip because it was just really funny. So it was so beautiful seeing people dance. Now we're going to the lake. Look at this. Look at everyone on this boat. By the lake. And it's so beautiful. I'm gonna show you everything. So look at these doves and birds. This dove is about to attack a dog. I did not know that doves can be a little aggressive. I think this is the aggressive one. Hi! Look at all of them. There's so many. It's like side eye. Side eye. The weather's so nice. So this is the only one open today on Sunday. Just got water so far. I don't know what to get. So much cheese and chocolate. What have we done so far today? So Nick got here in the morning. We had breakfast, then Lint. Lint factory. We walked around. Showered, changed, Nick showered, lunch, changed, lunch. <laughs> Paul, I'm saying what you're saying. We walked a lot. Like 18,000 steps. Yeah. Ice cream. We walked all the way, all around the. The lake. Now it's kind of getting cold. Like the second, like the when. The fact that you consider this cold though is crazy because this is like a bright <laughs> summer day on. Really? In, in UK weather. <laughs> I really like these trams. Like it's just so nice because you can just go everywhere with the trams. Like a, you can go all around with it. I also like that the hotel is really close to everything. Yeah, like from every side. Very... Tomorrow we are going to the airport at the same time because our flights are kind of at the same time. Yeah. We have all day though, which is good. And we're just gonna walk around. Since I've been here, I haven't been able to walk through the city and just like see things open. I don't know why, like I'm either walking past like 7 p.m. or it's Sunday. So tomorrow will be a great opportunity tomorrow, to see things. Yeah, it's like 8.30 p.m. There's still sun. It's setting, but there's still sun. The sun sets really slow here. Yeah, it's been setting for like an hour. <laughs> Let's go have dinner, dinner. Dinner time. Nick looks very sophisticated with his glasses. Yes. I have the same ones, but I want to get new ones that are lighter because 
they're just so heavy and it's just like I wear them all day because I wear usually contact lenses and on the first night I needed contact lens solution because I forgot it and I was lucky to find in 24 hour pharmacy. We're gonna go walk to a restaurant that I saw the other day and there was such a long line. I'm like, okay, this must be good. Now that Nick is here, we're gonna try it. I think it's right down there. That's the plan. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's good, but anyways, I wanna try it out. It looks like, I mean, for there to be that many people waiting in a line, it reminded me of Entrecote, which Entrecote is right next to it. We walked so much today. We did so many things. It's really nice that next to the hotel, like I just would walk different ways and I'd find so many different things. That's what I like when I travel, just to walk around and then see something. Like I saw this restaurant, I'm like, okay, I wanna try it. I don't know if it, like how it is. I don't even know what kind of food it is. So let's go. This is it. Smells good. I guess this is the, this is the menu. The table is kind of a sharing table. Like it's one table and then four people sit on it. There was like a couple sitting next to us. They've been living here and, and they saw us kind of struggling with the menu because we're like, we don't understand. Like I needed pictures, I was on Google. And they're like, oh, do you need some help? And they were so nice and just like helping us with the menu. He told Nick his favorites and we ordered them. Got a really good salad and now we're gonna try their popular dishes here. We got my Aperol spritz. Oh, the food's here. Josh Brown. It's really hot. I can't. I don't even know. What is this? What? What? Schmitt, what? Schmitt, Schmitt. Schmitt. Oh my god. I can't pronounce it. I, I hope we're this hungry because we have to finish everything. Did you already start eating? I tried a bite. You already tried, you already tried a bite. It's really good. Okay. I'm going to try it. It's good. Josh Brown. We have to get the dessert that they got. They got a really good looking dessert. So we have this dish. And then this. A veal schnitzel with a potato salad. That is very good. It is just so busy in here. This is apparently their specialty dessert. I had to get it. Yeah. We were gonna get something else and then she said just get this one. Oh, oh. You like it? It's really good. I'm standing right outside the restaurant and honestly, it was such a nice dinner. We got to eat really good food, but we just want to walk around and be tourists. I'm a tourist and proud and I will say that. I have to get better at German. Honestly, I want to. Just download Duolingo. Should I download it? Should I learn <laughs> German? What I love is that I was here two days on my own. I was like just walking on the streets, didn't feel unsafe. There was just so many people, like just everyone was out and about and walking. Mm -hmm. I've been pretty much memorizing how to get around Zurich, which is also really good. It's also a very beautiful city. I'm glad that you were able to come. Like, it's well designed. That's all I have to say. <laughs> well designed. Every time I go somewhere, they talk to me in German at first and they're kind of shocked that I like don't understand because I speak English. And then I'm like, do I look? Do I look like I'm from here? I look Middle Eastern, like there's no doubt. I just love Zurich. It's I think a great it's a city, great honestly. city. I talked to my brothers yesterday night and they were like, why are you out still? Like, yeah, why? Yeah, we heard like a loud bang. <laughs> the hell was that sound? That was, honestly, I don't know what that was. It re was really weird. It was like a firework. I just, I feel like when you walk here, honestly, today is more quiet. Saturday was like more filled Everyone with people. This is shopping street, I think. I'll tell you a kind of funny story that happened while I was in the bathroom. I went in to wash my hands after eating, drying my hands. And I noticed someone's using the urinal. He does not look sober. Then, I don't want to know the story anymore. Then he finishes using the urinal. He goes up, he doesn't wash his hands, contemplates, he like hangs his hand under to grab a tissue to like wipe his hands instead of whatever he's like you know what never mind and he doesn't even do that as he's leaving i noticed in his hands he took with him to the bathroom a like one liter cup of beer <laughs> and he brought it with him to the bathroom it's so funny i don't know what the story is why didn't he leave it at his table why did he bring his beer with him to the bathroom thank you nick for that story time anyways we lost this part of the microphone we noticed when we were almost at the hotel i'm like oh no like it's not there and then nick's like let's go back i was like i don't even know if we're gonna find 
find it like what if the wind like blew it away we we're like walking we see, we, we, see we see mice and they're like small and so we see this from far and we're like is that it or is it a mouse like we didn't know it was it we got we lucky like yeah we did have to walk for a little bit more and it was not bad oh yeah i was going the wrong way so you memorized it so yeah i got this back Woo! i'm gonna end the vlog here i'm probably gonna be vlogging tomorrow and then i have to go to the airport at night thanks for watching bye 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 bye, bye. bye.